This will be a short IX Network video on how to configure VXLAN using the NextGen framework. First I'd like to start out by mentioning that uh, VXLAN is only available when using the NextGen framework. Uh, it's not available in the classic legacy framework here. So what you want to do is you click on Scenario on the left. One easy way to get started is if you come to the data center, um, these are configura configuration templates under the data center under scenario. Go down here to VXLAN with IP hosts. Click this and drag to the left and you can drop this configuration straight in. Now this configuration that's loading up uh, is when Ixia is simulating um, two VTEPs, so all the NCAP DCAP is being done between these. So the DUT would be uh, the transit, or the DUT or the SUT would be um, the transit node. Uh, behind you have the VM hosts or network tenants, or tenant networks. Um, another way to configure it is if you come up here to topology and we can add another port and click next and you can come down here data center VXLAN and we'll hit finish and it will create this same topology uh, so in this case um, you can set up different things. Uh, if we wanted this particular port uh, to be terminated at the DUT VTEP, we could set this to 1, and um, for every VTEP here we have 10 VM hosts behind it. Uh, if you click on your VXLAN configuration here, you can see the various options. If you want to use a multicast, or if you need to do unicast and when you click this that also exposes uh, the configuration over here on the VXLAN unicast tab if you go back disable it now unavailable um, your uh, your VNI configuration is here and those are mainly the most important things that you want to watch out for um, your tenant networks or your VM host behind. It's pretty basic configuration. You configure your Mac, your VLAN if needed, and the IP address that you want these um, hosts to use. And let's see. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.